I'm SirTapTap and welcome to Let's Play Diblinthus. This is a new game by Platinum Dispositive. At least it, the localization's new. I'm not sure how old the original game is. Uh, if you're familiar, not familiar with Platinum Dispositive, they make uh, lots of really hard games. They're a Japanese indie or Daojin uh, game maker. Yes, that's right, Parker. Uh, what is your opinion on this? I'm not sure I agree with that. Very well. Um, here's the little options menu. Um, the way you map keys is a little weird, but this game does have controller support. Um, yes, Parker! So this game is kind of like a dungeon crawler where you build the dungeon as you go, which makes it much more of a puzzle game than anything else. Uh, so long ago, this universe was governed by the dice rolls of the Great Ones. These dice rolls sent tremors through the universe. And these tremors instigated change, which in turn led to adaptation, development, and the rise of advanced civilization. Parker, I'm reading. Oh, really? You take exception to this? I'm reading. Ahem. Um, where was it? <laughs> in a sense, the development of the entire universe relies on these dice rolls. The Great Ones persevered with their dice rolling unerringly, like the hamsters enchanted by the wheels. Parker! Get, I can't read! Get, go over there. Um, but one day, having grown bored of their celestial game of chance, the Great Ones stopped rolling their dice. The not-so-Great Ones. Boring! And so the universe was doomed to stagnate. Which is simply disgraceful when you think about it. Parker! This is simply disgraceful when you think about it. Get out of my face. Oh! You started the game! Parker! <laughs> Parker is tired of the intro. It's just that one screen, so I really do want to read that. Um, yes. So the Celestial Librarian of Wisdom, Yanda, who is normally found huddled away in the depths of Biblinthus, set out to give those deities a telling off they wouldn't soon forget. So yes, the entire objective of this game is to go find gods and nag their freaking ears off. We are Yanda, who's very cute, and... If you're, like I said earlier, Platinum Dispositive's games are very hard. Totally, totally forbidden tool. Purple Yam Ice Cream. Oh, that was a bad thing. I, I've played one very successful game of this and a couple test attempts, so I'm not super good. That's a good item, though. Ooh, and that's a good one, too. Um... But uh, I made it to, I think, what might have been the final area? It looked very... final, let me say. And uh, it was very difficult. But um, I digress. If you got this game, it was provided by Playism. They uh, publish a lot of Daojin games on PC and even PS4 and stuff now. They have their own website where you can get DRM-free versions of games and Steam keys. I believe if you buy this, you'll get a Steam key too. That's what it says. I didn't get a Steam key, but I think that's because of how their press key system works. So, like I said, this is a press copy. So it won't work quite like normal ones. Um, so yeah, as you build the bridge, the uh, dungeon, these um, gems here will turn into items if they... Uh, ooh! I think that is a really good item. Ooh, that's another good item. Once our silver key is ready, we really don't need to dilly-dally here, but uh, it can be useful to um, find our way to some uh, nice items. I think I pretty much blocked myself from that item. That is a teleport, which is pretty good, but yeah. Once we're ready, we can use the silver key. <laughs> I believe there are 12 levels. It probably loops, considering how short the game was. It wasn't super short, but... It just felt a little too easy, even though I died horribly, but, uh... So, the losing condition is just... What's this? Oh, that's a really good one. Aw, oh, crap. You gotta be aware of exactly how wide the thing you're, uh... Placing is. Sometimes stuff won't fit quite how you want it to. Also, if gems are in the way of a book, they will erase the book, so gems are extremely useful for really bad patterns, like, uh, damn it, I couldn't move over in time. What's this? 
I don't have a curse, but that's fine. I'll use it anyway. And we can teleport at any time, and I should probably do that pretty soon. If we if we build too far off of the screen, it will push the screen forward. And if Yoma gets pushed off the screen, that's game over. So let's just get out of here. There's some really cool... the levels you go to are random. There's some really cool level designs that I hope to see. We probably will. I think I saw... I saw a pretty good variety of levels last time. Hmm. Also, if you collect all of the sushi, you... turn invincible or something? Something happened that knocked away all of the enemies around me. Um, not really sure what it was, but it was nice. I, I have no complaints. Um, so, I'm not really sure how enemies work, they definitely block your progress, and they quote unquote hit you. I think they just do score damage, because they don't seem to have a hit bar, health bar or anything. Ah, crap. Even with this jerk in the way, I'm, we can fill our silver key gauge, because it's pretty small at the moment. The silver key gauge will not get significantly longer until the final area, where it gets truly massive and is very unfortunate. Also, there is an item that lets you see where the bad guys will spawn. They have set positions, we just can't see them without that item. And that item is not a consumable. So it's pretty useful if we can get a hold of it. I think it's time to leave. You can also quick drop. I, I think you've seen me doing that. I had, a little, I had a little trouble playing this game in full screen. Everything was black. Everything except the piece. Ooh, that's a good item. Um, this lets us teleport to any thing on screen. Ooh, what is this? Can be thrown. Shattering any creepy girl in its path. That would be good, but I, I can only carry four forbidden tools right now. <clears throat> There's a lot of forbidden tools. Huh? Not sure what that was about. Ooh! There we go! The potions you use instantly instead of picking up as forbidden tools. Um, that potion I got just now increased the amount of forbidden tools I, I can carry, which is very good. It looks like there's a max of seven. I've definitely not gotten that many, but uh, I've gotten this item before. What's this again? Ooh, good. As you can see, the silver key gauge steadily grows. I think it also depends on what level you're on. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, this Elder Sign item doesn't seem super useful at the moment. If I actually get trapped by baddies, which has happened, it can be extremely annoying, so I will keep a hold of it. But I don't... I can't use it or get rid of it at the moment. Well, I mean, I could get rid of it if that's all I wanted. Oh, your domain meter doesn't even increase. I guess that makes sense. Because the, the domain meter is basically... Uh, let me explain. When As you place items, or uh, sections of the dungeon, rather, you uh, increase that domain meter. And that's basically just literally the, the number of tiles on the dungeon. I think that did score damage. I, I never look to see what it does. I'm pretty sure it does score damage when enemies hit you. Also, if you if we go to a forbidden item that we can't pick up but is consumable, get out of here. Wait, why can't I use that? What? It 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 seems that that item could not be used to destroy the silver ones. Okay. That sucks. Uh, whatever. My silver key's ready anyway. That just kind of screwed me up. So there's not much point in remaining except for to collect items. Like, I guess I can pick this back up. Aw, oh, that item is really good. Uh, there's no chance of me getting it, though. Not really. Oh well. That lantern there is the item that lets you see the, uh where the enemies are going to spawn. And it's active as long as you have it in your inventory. It's not a single-use item. So, very useful. Uh, what's this 
one again. Oh, right. I kind of wish you could carry those. I actually think there's an item... No, there's an item that does basically the same thing as that. A consumable item, I mean. Oops. I actually meant to quick drop, but we were done there anyway. Mm. It's a really cool area. We've seen... I think we saw the vector one, didn't we? That was, that's one of my favorites, but... Uh, Oh, it drops the sushi! Yeah, I want the staff. The staff can save your life, so, uh, it's probably one of the best items to have. Are you kidding me? <coughs> Just use it right now! <coughs> oh, whatever. Oops! Crap! There's certain items you can... Wait, can I just cancel? Please? Crap. Well, whatever. I'm taking this with me then. I did not mean to do that. Certain items you can place down on the ground again. Um, I was stupid and didn't think that I would just immediately consume the item, which is what happened. So I just lost the safety net. That's fine. That's just dandy. It keeps giving me this one, which is, I think, one of the easier level varieties. But still, it's boring. And that's much more important than safety, isn't it? That's not what the sushi we need anyway. And some of these, the hourglass gets very quick. Wait, that poop prevents enemies from attacking you, I think. They just sort of run away, they don't die or anything. I'm gonna be stubborn and keep my items. I shouldn't have been stubborn, apparently. Damn, I didn't think that would hit. Ah, crap. As you can see, that was not half as good as my best run. One more run, then. I was only planning to do one decent run, but that was not a decent run. I can't believe that. I had really good items. Uh, I don't really have a good impression of when I'm going to game over, to be quite honest. Like, let me... Okay. Ah. So that didn't entirely help. But I, I get once 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 stuff is up to the screen, I should have left. See so that 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 was on me, not the game. That was just me being dumb. Oh, it's the tarot card can be something good. It can be something very bad. I think that's very dangerous, but uh, it gave us some points. Actually, fairly little points, but uh, the Vortex facility is one of my favorites. Reduces Void Hourglass, that is, yeah. I think I should stop getting these stupid tarot cards. You can drop them if you accidentally pick them up, but uh, I just wanted to see what it would do. I got a negative effect last time, I think I'm gonna stop picking them up. Oh no! The Void Hourglass is turn-based, so you can stop and think, which I should have done a few times, but... This isn't good. It can be very useful to, um, stop and fill garbage at a... Oh, very good. Um, in a path that you can't actually go to anyway, while you, uh, go around to make a more proper path. Ah, oh, crap. Whatever. Oh, we're done. I want to see... Yeah, that just did score damage, I think. Strange, you know what? I honestly have no idea what the bosses do. Or the enemies. They could definitely get you killed by blocking you in, but I don't know what their attacks do. It doesn't look like it's decreasing my score. Drop 
that here. There we go. are so spread out. Oh, that's a good one. Actually, uh... what? Ah, oh, son of a, I didn't even, ah, oh, God. I was so far away from the other crap, I didn't even think about it. Okay, one more, one more legit attempt. I really want you to see the cool thing, the cool map that the game is refusing to show me. I got it as the second map once, so it, I think it can show up anywhere. Music's pretty good. There's, I'm not sure how much music there is. Like, I hear... It seems to mostly just be this song. Yeah, when you start building out in all directions, it can be easy to catch yourself up like I did last game. And that's... that's all good. Well, uh, let's get out of here. I'm really not the best at puzzles, so... I, I probably won't show many very successful run of this, but uh, have been enjoying it. Ah, enemy! You jerk wad. There we go. No! Crap. Um. No, that's not good. The silver key is ready. Eh, let's not risk it. My mission is to get to depth six. That's what I've decided. All right. So, I'm 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 deciding on whether I should spoil. The cool map that I saw. It's something like Crazy Amazo, but I just thought we would see it and it would be neat. Because it's not just more library books, so I, that makes it fairly unique. Wait, maybe I just lose a turn if the, if the baddies hit me. Alright, let's just. We're gonna play it safe. I really wish I had more fit, forbidden tools, but uh, there we go! Does this one have its own music? There we go. Yeah, this one I really like, because I mean, it's just, it's not yet another book thingy. Yeah, I remember this now. Uh, certain areas have different. What's this one? Oh, yes. That lets us move without the void hourglass or enemies moving. Oh, that is actually a good one. Oops. Once again, I forgot that I can't... Certain items you can set down that have no use except to be carried. Uh, the thing I used was not one of them. I want to keep wandering in the forest. Yet. Well, looks like I should anyway. I don't mind the book levels. They got good music, but uh, change of pace is nice. Also, books will not be erased by enemies, for better or worse. Sometimes you might 
actually prefer that. But, uh, in those cases, too bad. Since the Void Hourglass is turn-based, you really should calm down and think a bit more than I have been. But, uh... I'm no MLG pro strats at this either. Oh, crap. Don't pick that up. After I got that last game, um... The level after I picked that up was completely full of monsters. Uh, the levels after that didn't seem to be as bad. So I'm not sure if the effect is permanent. Like, maybe it's one level full of monsters, then a bunch of better levels, but I'd still rather not risk it right now. Ah, crap. Whew. Okay. You jerk. You frickin' jerk. I hate you so much. It's actually kind of satisfying to place the books over the enemies, because they're dead now, forever. Jerks. It's also satisfying to place the books over items, because then the books explode. And what have books ever done for anyone? Scoreboards, but they don't seem to be online, unfortunately. So you're just gonna have to brag about it, I guess. Back in my day, we had to brag ourselves instead of letting fancy, fancy scoreboards do it for us. Kids these days. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Depth 6, that was my goal. I think depth, depth 12 is in the City of the Void. This is just sort of a prettier version of the normal. I don't want to pick that up, but it's in my way. Ah, crap. Um, I just want to get away from this jerk. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the, the sound effects that Platinum Dispositive uses I've seen a bunch of other Japanese indie games use them. There must be some, like, common library that they like to use. Okay, <laughs> library. Get, get, you know what, you know what? I'm out of here. Screw you guys. Have a good hand. Aw, crap. The cube, oh. The cube dies after it attacks me, that's fine. I like the sound effects, actually. I They all remind me of Bunny Must Die now, and I love that game, so it's just... It's sort of comforting, in a way. Uh-oh. I don't want to take too many risks here. Alright, let's get out of here. I do have some items to use. Can we make it to 10? Nice. Crap. Even the hourglass won't help me get past that jerk, because uh, it stops time, but they'll still obscure my path, I think. Puff. 
did not mean to use that. Well, now I can carry more forbidden tools and then accidentally consume them, but I don't mean to. It's wonderfully useful. So that, that cake destroys all enemies, don't don't ask. It's just it's a very It's either a very good cake or a very bad cake. I I probably shouldn't ask which. Unfortunately sometimes you just kinda need to do this and just build where there is space. Oh god. Frick. Well, we did decent. Oh, we actually did one less depth than before, but uh, we had so much more domain. How did we not? Yeah, I guess I had some more top offs. Oh, that first one was great if I just wasn't an idiot. But uh, yeah, this is Biblinthus. It is pretty cool. I puzzle brains or puzzle games hurt my brain, obviously. So I don't tend to play them too much, but. Um, I enjoyed this one. It, it's short and to the point, and it's not... It's one of those reaction-based puzzles. I'm alright with reaction-based puzzles. Um, it's ones that, like, totally hard-gate your progress until you figure out something specific. That kinda... that gets... Get, that gets on the old nerve. Yeah. That is Biblinthus, and uh, I, I hope... I'm planning to try out a bunch of other Platinated Dispositives games. I'm not sure which all ones are even in English. Um, I'll probably do a stream for the Bullet Hell games of theirs. Um, Parky, we got fluff clumps. So, well, I have to remove Parker's fluff clumps. So, uh, see everybody later.